All right, today we're going to do the build video for the logistics core. So you're going to need, as this tells you, 44 galvanized steel walls. That is a minimum. We're going to be using 70 today. You're going to need um, 27 multi-block processor units. We're going to be using galvanized steel walls for most of that. I'll get into why in a minute. And then we're going to need the 53 ventilation units. So, first off, you need a 5x5. Five five. So, there's 5, there's 5, and then we will complete this out. And then ventilation inside of that. <clears throat> so now we have our platform to start building up the rest here. Now we're going to put ventilation in here. Give us a little box. And to give us a way of getting up to the rest of it here. To finish out our 5x5 five five frame. There we go. Now I need to remove this one. I want to leave that one out anyways. We'll build out the walls and the ceiling. <clears throat> and this wall here minus those two blocks. Those two blocks are for a reason. One will be this ventilation unit. One will be the logistics core. But for right now, it's going to be my doorway to get out of this thing. So, the inside of this is where the actual CPU part comes in. And you have a choice from your minimum, which would be this, to your maximum, which would be the entire 3x3 being filled with any of these four or this so you could build the entirety of this thing with versatile cores <clears throat> versatile quad cores if you wanted you could build it completely out of control ones storage logic or conversion quad cores or you could build it with just one of the versatiles because you have to have at least one of all four of these and because this is a versatile as you can see from the picture on it it has one uh, one core as each of these four quad cores so instead of having four cores of control it has one control one storage one logic and one conversion so then we're going to fill in the rest of this with walls for a minimal setup here. <clears throat> and then the ventilation and the logic core in the very center. And you'll know that it is complete when you right click on it and it says power 0 EU, consumption 24 EU and one of each now I will show you here if you take out four of these walls and you put in one of each of these four now you will have five total one from the versatile four from each quad and there you go so, let's look at the tooltip now 
for the logistics core and run down what we just did. So a five by five frame, galvanized steel walls, three by three core of the 27 processors or just one versatile. Um, the three by three walls need to be the ventilation units. The main centered on any side facing outward. And then this is where we get to at least one of each processor type needed or the versatile inside of there. Uh, you can replace the CPUs with walls should you not be able to afford that many. Logistic processors increase your operation count by one. Control increases maximum network range by one. Storage increases the buffer size by one stack or 16 buckets worth or 16,000 liters. And conversion processors increase the throughput by one stack or 16,000 liters or 16 buckets you will also notice that this thing does not run on convention conventional power tiers it can run anywhere between 512 and 16 384 eu a tick so when i was powering this in testing i was using a HV battery box with two HV batteries in it. You may need to hook um, EV up to it or I think actually EV is what you need. Let's see. I think EV would do the 16, right? Let's see. HV, EV. Uh, no, you could actually go clear up to uh, top tier IV so this thing can take anywhere from mid-range HV to top of IV so that is the build video uh, watch out later on for a little more explanation of how it works um, but that's not the focus of this video um, you will need things like this that are also components of it, but just to build the core itself, that's what you need. So have a good day. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.